What's going on, my PT peeps, my fighters, and my Frumly? That's my From family. Frumly. Spoiler warning for all things From, and I bring up the question, do you trust this lady? Her name is Tilly, and she's been involved since she showed up in Season 2, Episode 1, on the bus. So I've been talking to a lot of people, and we just don't trust this lady. She seems to know too much information. There seems to be something weird about her. Is she a spy from the powers that be? I don't know, because she showed up after all the chaos at the end of season one and season two, but she seems to be involved with things in every episode so far, and she knows like way too much information as a new person in this town. But she's dancing around in the rain, and it's kind of like a wholesome moment, like, okay, this old lady is having fun, and she seems to be making the best of it. So maybe she's just an old lady that's on her way out. I believe she had a terminal disease or cancer or something. We don't know what she had, but she had liquid morphine. But she seems to be, I don't know a better word for it besides shady or just, I don't know, it's just odd. Like there's just something weird about her. And again, maybe she's just an old lady and uh, she's just doing what she does here, but she's singing and dancing and she's like, yeah, woo, yeah. She's having a good time in the rain and then the rain stops. But when the monsters are attacking, she seems fine. She's like, yeah, yep, here's some coffee. Yep. Like, she's not phased by it. Which, if I was in this town, I couldn't leave. There's these weird monsters at night. I wouldn't be, like, so happy-go-lucky. And I wouldn't be okay with everything. And yeah, in the rain, she didn't know the circumstances. But the music comes on and plays. She's playing cards by herself, like solitaire. And it's just like, she's okay with it. And then she's literally in between the people from the bus, Randall, and Donna, the OG don't mess with her person from the town. The symbolism is like she's in between it. She's in between everything going on here, which I can't look past because this show has symbolism. You know, the writers know what they're doing. And I would assume that down to every last detail, they're doing stuff for a reason. And I just can't look past this. And then Jim is in, I guess, the hospital, the medical building, and he's looking at the wires. And all of a sudden, she comes in looking for Christy. And maybe this is where she wanted to give her the liquid morphine because she is like messing with her bag that the liquid morphine was in. But it just seems odd that she seems to keep popping up when people are kind of doing stuff. Like Jim literally gets out of bed, goes back to looking at the wires that he got in trouble before with with Tabitha and then the radio and stuff. And this lady shows up. Coincidence, circumstance. And then she keeps asking, oh, am I interrupting? Like, you know what you're doing, lady. You are interrupting on purpose. Then she sees Boyd. And how does she know where Boyd was? Like maybe she just heard it through the town that he was out and this and that, but she kind of like knew a little more than she should. Am I crazy? Do you agree? Because she's talking to Boyd and she's like, oh, you came back. You were just out, you know, you're here. And like, oh, you're not going to find Kenny here. You're not going to find him here. He's not there. And again, she's like involved in minor ways, but enough to kind of like manipulate things a little bit. And it just seems off about it. And I'm making this video because I'm like, am I the only one that feels this way? Or do you agree? Because I've talked to enough people and we kind of agree that something's up with this lady. And then in the latest episode, she comes in when Mari and Christy are having a nice moment after the haircut. And this is when she comes back with her bag and she gives Christy the liquid morphine. Does she know that Mari is a drug addict? Because Mari was on the bus with her. So maybe she knows that. Maybe she is part of the group that oversees this town. Maybe she's a monster. Maybe it's going to be some game-changing moment in the series that this lady was put here after all the chaos that you know happened at the end of season one going into season two. Because... We know that Mari is an addict and she looks at the bottle like, ah, oh, yes, I can't wait. And then she takes you know, the morphine at the end of the episode. But it just seems like this lady Tilly is involved with so many things. Like, again, it's in a minor way. It's not like a major game changing way where she's killing people or she's doing this or she's doing that. But she kind of knows little ways to manipulate things. And it's just something seems off by her. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too far into it. But what do you think? Do you trust this lady? What do you think is going to happen with the rest of the season? Now, I know a lot of people are saying that season two sucks and it's slow and there's too many plot holes and it's this. And then a lot of people are also saying that they love the season. So it's probably split. 
I don't know, 60, 40, 70, 30. People enjoy it. I enjoy the series. And as long as they answer the questions, I'm fine with it. It could be a slow burn, it could be a slow build, but as long as they actually answer the questions that we all have, I mean, they're gonna keep asking questions and setting things in motion and having twists and turns and really keep messing with us. But let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, like, share, subscribe. We're gonna be talking about From for the rest of the season and probably in between season two and season three, because I believe there's a third season coming, which is awesome. Thank you guys either way, stay safe, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love